I know this is outside my usual uploads, but you know what guys? I fucking called it. I called it in a video I did not that long ago where I made a joke about leaving 343 alone, but this isn't what the video is going to be about at all. If anything, I'm going to be making a message for 343. Dear 343, Quit giving your goddamn IP to Halo and Master Chief to other fucking companies. Let me preface this by saying that I have been playing Halo for the past 17 years of my goddamn life. I have seen the series at its best and I've seen it at its worst. I've seen the series with and without Master Chief. I've seen Master Chief's name plastered on fucking Dorito bags and Mountain Dew bottles and Rockstar Energy cans. I've seen a fair share of shit when it comes to Master Chief, okay? I really fucking have. But the one thing that has always rubbed me the fucking wrong way is when you take a beloved character and you demoralize it. Wanna know who's public enemy number one for this shit? Of course, to the best of my knowledge, because it's kinda hard to see if he's appeared anywhere else other than an obscure reference in Duke Nukem. Fortnite. Of course. Fucking Fortnite. The pinnacle of shit gaming at its finest. On December 11, 2020, Master Chief was bastardized on a biblical level by being put into Fortnite. You were of course able to purchase the Master Chief skin by itself, or you could purchase the Master Chief bundle that came with the skin, the legendary campaign crest as a back piece, a UNSC Pelican glider, a grab hammer harvesting tool, and an emote where you rode around in a little warthog. Now follow me, right? Follow me, okay? A fucking US Navy Special Operations Master Chief patch officer who single-handedly took out the fucking flood and laid rest to tens of thousands of Covenant and brute forces, right? How are we gonna treat this legend who's been an active character in this series for over 20 fucking years by putting him in a kid's game and make him do cringe fucking shit? And the fact it costs more money than what Halo Infinite is worth makes it even worse. Now let's fast forward to another fucking mistake. Paramount Plus making the Halo series. When I found out that Paramount Plus was hosting a live-action Halo TV series, I went from excited to devastated when I found out that the Halo show was a lump of old shit. I did quite like the first few episodes and besides, we finally got to see what John Spartan has looked like for all these years which was nice, but once I seen his bare naked ass, I kinda started shifting my emotions into a different area, the show progressed, it got worse, the chief got some banging coven dussy, and I got some better shows to watch. I know 343 is looking at making the Halo series more financially sustainable, especially since Halo 5 was nothing short of a visual food poisoning by expanding its reach to a more accepting and gullible audience, aka children. And while I was thinking of shit to say for this video, I was saying to myself, well, at least it's only Fortnite. Oh, bite my fucking balls. Fall Guys just came back. Awesome. Now truth be told, I actually like this game. I think it's a pretty fun and thoughtless time killer. I didn't pay much attention to this game until they committed a crime that most people would put under fucking manslaughter. Fall Guys recreated the Halo 3 Believe trailer. The Believe trailer is noted as one of the best trailers in video game history for those of you who did not know. And when I seen this trailer, I felt a lot of different things, right? I felt what anyone would feel after just seeing someone get hit by a fucking car. I felt kind of mad, felt kind of upset set, somewhat nauseous, but I couldn't help myself but to keep watching. I unfortunately did not record any gameplay of Fall Guys during this time when the Master Chief skin was available, pretty much because I was fucking busy and had better things to do. But the Master Chief skin did cost money for those of you who want to know. You couldn't buy it with the $8 pack of fuck bucks or whatever they're called, so you had to buy the $20 pack. They also had the Grunt and Brute skins in the store for much cheaper, and they had a game mode called Spartan Showdown. I only played it for a little bit, but let me tell you, I find it much more offensive than the bullshit Fortnite did by 16 life cycles, but I would play that over Fortnite any goddamn day. I just don't understand the need for this shit. I know I sound like a fucking boomer and everything, but I don't understand it. Fucking Fortnite is the worst offender out of all of this. They've had Halo, Gears of Wars, the Wu-Tang Clan, Travis Scott, a rumor is going around that Juice World is going to be a character next. Shit that don't even come close to family friendly is somehow in fucking Fortnite, guys, and it's appalling to me. It really fucking is. Of course the answer to this problem is, well, just don't buy it and don't support it. And that's the obvious answer, okay? I never said it wasn't the fucking answer. What I'm trying to say is, they don't need to do this shit to have a popular game. Just make a good fucking game. 
That's it. I can guarantee one thing, right? Put fucking Ghost or Captain Price in Fortnite and people will shit bricks so fucking big you could build houses out of them. Like I said in the beginning, this isn't my usual video that I do. Next video is going to be more on topic for this channel. But if you liked what you've seen, consider choking that sub button, kicking that like button, and ball busting that notification bell. I post content like this all the time right here on YouTube. My name is Redbeard Mortis. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you guys in the next one. But until then, I am fucking out of here.